Okay, today's topic, uh, topic is synchronicities, which you probably already know is when you keep seeing 1111 or 222 on a clock, um, seeing, seeing also synchronistic events, uh, coincidences. But these synchronicities, um, I, I didn't know were a thing, but I've heard about them uh, since engaging in mediumship. And, and also since I deliberately started engaging in mediumship, uh, they have, I, get, I experience a few synchronicities every single day usually clock related, but not necessarily. So, um, uh, and instead of seeing, um, you know, 1111 or 333 or that kind of thing, um, I, I do see that, but what happens to me most often is um, going from left to right, the numbers add up to each other, like 325, three plus two is five, or 426, four plus two is six. That happens to me <laughs> multiple times a day. I went for a year. This has started to die out. It's not happening nearly as much, but I, it started to slow down maybe three or four, three months ago, but for the year preceding that, I kept seeing uh, 313, which is a, a loved one's birthday. And it got ridiculous. Uh, 313 in the morning, I would wake up. Um, 313 in the afternoon, I, I started to text this loved one to say 313, that's all I'd say. Sometimes in the morning, I do 313 as well, because I knew they wouldn't see it until they got up. Um, I'd get uh, accounts I had to use for my regular everyday job that would end in 313. Um, I kept seeing that every single day I was seeing 313 for about a year. So that kind of thing. Um, in my opinion, synchronicities are not, you're not making them happen. It's an indicator that you are, it's about timing. It's about, um, if you've ever played a sport or played a musical instrument, you probably know the feeling of being in the zone where just nothing can go wrong. I feel it's related to that. It's a, it's a state of mind or a way of being that makes you open to something. Um, and how that comes about, or one of the side effects is seeing these or noticing these synchronicities. I don't think it's because of mediumship that I've started to experience these. I think it's because of what I do to improve my mediumship, which is being deliberately positive every single day. That I think is what has set me up in this emotional state, this vibration, if you will, this state of mind, this way of being um, deliberately positive, focusing on deliberately positive things every day, uh, I do that because my mediumship readings go better. I've noticed a direct correlation between how positive or happy I am and how well my readings go. And, and it's that that I think has caused me to notice every day multiple synchronicities. So I've started using them as, I've started taking them as a sign. Uh, I'm not suggesting that you do this. I'm just saying this is what I do now. I take them as a sign that I'm supposed to do something or not do something. Um, I actually take them as a sign to do something. So for example, I'll, um, I'll think, oh, I need to get a haircut. Oh, is this a good time? It's probably really busy. And I'll look at the clock and it's 2.22. And, and when that kind of thing happens, I'm like, okay, I'll just go. So far, it's always worked out. It's always turned out to be a good thing. So uh, I'm going to keep doing that. And that suggests to me, because it keeps working out for the best, that suggests to me some kind of intelligent third party or third parties where someone's helping me um, or trying to help me. And I have talked about in other videos, I do feel connected to a group of people in spirit. Um, I think they do help me or try to be helpful to me. And so um, uh, they, and so my parents are certainly part of that group. And, and for example, just as a way of saying, hello, I'm here or whatever, showing me that they're part of my life. I was going through my computer recently, deleting all kinds of different files, just trying to make room on my hard drive. And I was listening to a recording of uh, my mother singing. Uh, my mom passed years ago. And uh, at the exact same moment when I hit a file that, that happened to be a picture of her and me um, when I was a child, uh, the lyrics that she was singing was, I swear I love you by the moon above you. Um, but it was that I swear I love you part that, that was sung at exactly the same moment that the picture popped up on my computer. So it was exactly that moment that the um, picture popped up when she was singing that. So I actually said out loud, that was clever because I think it's good to acknowledge when this happens. And if you ever feel like this happens to you and it's a specific person, uh, I, I would verbally acknowledge to that person specifically. So I think the synchronicities are just an indication that you are in the zone, that you um, are living in a way or have a state of mind or a state of feeling that is keeping you open to helpful influence. Uh, because I do believe we're all connected. It's not just that all people are connected the way that we're all connected on earth. Um, I, I, think, I think we're all connected, people in spirit and people here, we're constantly connected. And this happy 
open, friendly state of mind, I think makes it easier for them to help us, to influence us, or just to give us little indicators like, you know, um, should I get a haircut? Oh, it's probably too busy. Oh, look, it's 222. Like things like that, where it's helping me decide things and it's working out for the best. So I'm going to keep doing it. Um, you know, there's not much more to say about that. Next week, I'm going to talk about um, getting in your head during a when you are being a medium and you get in your head about the details or you're just not sure about what you're getting. Um, it's not quite doubt, uh, but anyway, I want to talk about getting in your head. So until then, see you next time. Thank you for watching this one and leave your comments or questions below and I'll try to do a video um, on them. Thanks.